Hello everybody, this is Or Washington. Uh, this is the beginning of the Or Washington Rant series entitled The Antichrist. Um, the, the purpose of this rant is to uh, reveal to everyone the, the existence of the Antichrist and what, what, what different things that you can look for in identifying who the Antichrist is. Now, um, the, the term the Antichrist is, is actually a biblical word when uh, it comes to uh, Christianity. Um, but there are other re religions that also um, document the, um, the Antichrist as well. Uh, Islam is one of them, which is referred to the, the, the Dahi, Dahi, Dahi. Um, other, other religions, um, you know, they, they um, speak about the one existence of the um, Antichrist as well. It's up too. So in this rant, um, I, I wanted to some um, to shed shed some light about the existence of the Antichrist. Um, how you can fully identify the Antichrist and to actually show you that the the Antichrist is actually existing right now um, in this nation. You know, uh, for us the world concerned, I'm, I'm not too sure about if it's even existing in the world. But I know by uh, thus in our nation itself that the Antichrist is most definitely uh, in existence right now. Now the the question is is that uh, you know uh, how do how do I know that the Antichrist exists um, in this nation right now and stuff on what what are some of the, the the things that we look for some of the signs that we um, look for and see about the, the existence of the Antichrist and stuff you know what I'm saying about the Antichrist being in the world well being in this nation well some of the signs that, that we see right now we we see a whole whole bunch of you know as the bible refers to it as perilous times happening stuff you know um where we see um um different wars that's that's been um been been in place not not just the the you know um uh, wars on a natural level you know what i'm saying like you know united states against iraq iraq or you know and or uh, you know Korean, Korea, and all the stuff there. I'm not talking about them type of wars, but I'm talking about the personal wars that are, that are actually in this nation itself. I mean, y'all, y'all seen the evidence and stuff of other wars that I'm talking about. You know, we we have an, um, um, gender wars where um, men men is um declaring superiority of a woman or a woman declaring superiority of a man. Uh, we we see um. Even on um, race wars, where um, um, you know um, blacks or African Americans are de declaring superiority over you know um, white supremacists, or the white supremacists declaring superiority over, over the black com country and stuff, or the black population and stuff. Um, and you know it's the same thing with any other race as well, whether it's Hispanic, um, whether it's um, you know. Um, Indian, well, if it's on, you know, um, Korean, Chinese, whatever, uh, this thing is still evident in this nation. Uh, we we have we have uh, what is known as lifestyle wars that's happening too, where um, where um, people uh, who are who are heterosexual, they they're wrong, <clears throat> they're they're declaring you know war against people who are homosexual against their lifestyles. Um, there's even uh, re religion wars were 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 people's debating even about the, the religion you know they debate them against um christianity against islam islam against christianity um islam and christianity against um hindu and you know and the likes and stuff like that and stuff you know so we have a whole lot of stuff that's going on uh right now in this nation and stuff you know what i'm saying that's showing evidence you know what i'm saying uh of you know of the antichrist so by, by me saying all this stuff um uh, i wanted to um read actually the bible and the reason why i'm, I'm using the bible as my main reference is because uh unfortunately this this country is founded upon you know the bible which is founded upon christianity um as itself so i'm, I'm using this bible <clears throat> as a reference because uh, many people they they know and they understand uh, the Christian doctrine. Uh, no matter what religion you you are part of, it um this country managed to have uh, Christianity centered around you know wherever um you believe in, wherever doctrine you believe in, and stuff. It centers back around to Christianity. So I'm I'm, I'm referring to the Bible uh, through, throughout this whole entire uh, rant and the scriptures that that I'm gonna read. Um, it's going to come from um, 1 John, 
And I'm going to come from 1 John chapter 1 and verse starting at verse 5. And many people will, you know what I'm saying, who in the world, the Christian or religion, y'all, y'all um, will understand this um, scripture very well. They'll figure out to read because I know it'd be a very charismatic uh, ministers and preachers. They'll preach about this um, thing that they'll figure out to read about, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to use this scripture and this is going to be the foundation of this whole entire rent and stuff just to share the light on different things that I want to share with, with you on today. So we're going to read on first, first John um, chapter 1, verse starting at verse 5, and it starts off. This, uh, this verse is starting, starting off talking about walking in the light, and it reads this. Um, this is the message we have heard from him, proclaiming you that God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and, and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light, as as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another in the blood of Jesus. His son cleanses us from our sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from our unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar and the word is not in us. Now, well, what is this um, this whole chapter talking about? Once again, um, it's talking of, talking about the one um, the characteristics of being in the light. In other words, um, this is um, showing the characteristics of a of a um, person actually um, walking into righteousness. Um, a person who's who um who shares these these main qualities. The first quality is that this person is connected to the Creator, which is the Most High God. The second quality is that uh, the person is connected to himself. In other words, the person loves himself. Then the third um, thing is that the person loves um, his neighbor. That the person is connected and loves his neighbor. And the final thing is that the, the, the person is connected to the world itself. In other words, connected to nature itself. So what these scriptures is um, referring to is that if you say that you're connected to the creator, you're connected to the father, it's of denying his uh, attributes, his characteristics should be in you. You'll be considered as a person of the light. You know what I'm saying? But, however, if you... If you don't share any of these characteristics that I just mentioned and just what these scripture, this um, verse of scripture is talking about, then you the opposite of that and stuff. Then there's darkness. You don't have no light in you. You are lie and, and uh, darkness is and darkness is in you and stuff. You know what I'm saying? At all. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's what these um, scriptures is talking about right here. So how can we um, relate this to uh, what's going on right now about what I was saying earlier and stuff? Once again, you know, uh, there are different things in this nation that are going on. There are many things that have been practiced. There are many things that have been pro proclaiming, preaching, and stuff like that. If anything that you that you believe in and stuff, it, it manifests on religion, it manifests your ideology, no matter what it is and stuff. Um, anything that you believe in and stuff, if it's not on, um, if it's not helping you being connected to the Creator, which is the Most High God, first. If it's not helping you want uh, to improve yourself, to gain knowledge of yourself, so you can live. A a righteous life if it's not helping you to love your your neighbor just like how God loves you and stuff and if, if it's not helping you connect with the world itself nature itself when you respect nature itself then you're a lie the truth is not in you at all it don't matter what, what movement that you're in it don't matter what propaganda that you preach or whatever it doesn't matter it's stuff if it's if it's portraying any type of these characteristics in other words what portraying darkness or hate then the truth is not in it at all you're a lie the truth is not in you you don't have the creator's heart in you at all and stuff you know what i'm saying so this is what these um verses of scriptures is referring to and stuff so let's go even further and stuff on um, we're going to I'm going further, still first John, but we're going to go to chapter two this time, and we're going to read what chapter two is talking about. Uh, first John chapter two, it says this: "My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have a have an advocate um, with the Father, Jesus Christ, the um, with the Father, Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ, the the righteous." He is the proper, proper protection for our sins, 
and not for ourselves only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And by this, we know that we, we have come to know them, know him if we keep his commandments. Whoever says I know him, but does not keep his commandment is a liar. The truth is not in him. But whosoever keep his word in him, truly the love of God is perfected. It. By, by this, we, we may know that we are in him. Whoever says he abides in him ought to walk in the same way which he walked. Now, these um these this this um verse of scripture in, in chapter two is is talking about this. Now it's talking about let's say for say for example that um you you wanted them on uh, those type of individuals and stuff right there. You know that that's how I'm speaking this propaganda. That's speaking you know whatever it is that you're talking about. It don't matter what it is and stuff. Um. I mean, let's let's talk about you know current events that's happening right now and stuff. If you're speaking of propaganda that you know, uh, say for example that Black Lives Matter and nobody else' life matters, so it's only by Black people only. The truth is not in you. You're a liar, and the, the Creator's heart is not in you and stuff. Because the Creator heart uh, did not create just one race of people, which is you know a Black race. Because if they're so, then the whole world will be populated with, with only a black race. Same thing for white white supremacy too, as well. The whole the world and the the creator did not create just white people just who are white or Caucasian and stuff only, but he created a mixture of people for a reason and stuff. So if you're preaching a propaganda saying that um that only only this life matter or only that life matter, whatever it is that you're preaching, that um, black culture matter or white culture matters only, stuff like that, and you're not concerned about other people's culture as well, knowing that uh, other people's co culture is actually connected to your culture as well and stuff, and that's what brings us to unity and truth. If you're preaching that, if you're telling people that, if you're pressing this propaganda, then the lie is in you, the Father, the Creator, the Father, He's not in you, and the truth is not in you at all. But however, if you um, uh, if you um, realize the error of your ways and stuff like that, this is talking about Christ Jesus and stuff being in you stuff. If you are, uh, if you want uh, preach. Uh, if you um, in other words, saying saying that hey, you know, I made a mistake about what I'm saying and stuff like that. This is not true and stuff like that. That you know, I just want to change. You know, I want to renege what I said and stuff. You know what I'm saying and, and preach more positive things that's going to be positive for you, um, your community, the people around you. And I'm talking about the community. I'm talking about. I'm not talking about just a race of people. I'm talking about everyone, the whole entire community, the whole entire world, the whole entire race, the whole entire existence and stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you want, um, if you're talking about that and stuff instead and stuff that you want to bring that into that to, to bring about change, then that's what the scripture is talking about and stuff that that um that that Christ is willing to forgive your sins that He willing to us. Uh, block that all out and stuff because you're willing to change your perception and your mind and stuff about that and stuff you know what I'm saying that he's your advocate and stuff that he's gonna want that that he's gonna protect you in that matter and stuff you know so right now um, my time is up on this first part of this rant I'm gonna, I'm gonna go even further to the scriptures and explain even further about um, about the the characteristics of the Antichrist and about these um, scriptures it's hidden um Fight faith with faith. God bless y'all.